Hello everybody and a good day to you all the day. I'm talking about the Toy Story 4 movie. And the movie is directed by Josh Cooley. Voice actors are Tom Hanks and um and Annie Potts, um Tony Hale, Tim Allen, Christina Hendricks, um Keegan Michael Key, Jordan Peele, Keanu Reeves, Ali Mackey, and many others to the cast. In this movie here, you pretty much have um uh Bonnie. Her first day of kindergarten. She's going to school. She's a little bit scared. And and you have um, really trying to look out for her. Even though she's not really playing with him any, anymore. She's trying, she's, trying, she's trying to look out for her. Trying to make sure she has a first day there. The best way he knows how to do. And she ends up making a, a little toy. You've seen, the, you've seen the trailer. Named Forky. That becomes her best friend. And, and it's up to, to Woody to make sure that Forky... Stays alive, stays safe, stays well, so so Bonnie can, can, can bond with this toy, has the experience she had with this toy, loves this toy, and have a, a good day at school with this with this toy. So that's the that's the whole plan. And then they end up going on this road on this road trip. On the, she takes all the toys she wants to take with her, and also Forky. And then Forky is spending most of his time trying to kill himself because he doesn't understand why he's a, he's alive and he that he shouldn't be a toy and stuff like that too. And Woody trying to save him. And that's, you know, Forky just jumps, jumps out of the out of the out of the out of the, out of the, um, out of the RV. Willie goes after him, and the craziness happens from there. Now. Before I get into the good part of the movie, I'm going to start with the bad. The bad part about the movie is not really nothing, nothing really bad about this movie, really. I enjoyed everything from beginning to end. The only thing I can say, really, is the, um, is the fact that they don't focus on a lot of the main characters at all. I mean, the only characters you mostly focus on is Woody. You get a little bit of buzz, not that much of him. But everybody else, the, 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 the original character, like Jesse and, and the Mr. Potato Head and Mr. Potato Head and all of them, and Slinky and all of them, you get, you get a little bit of them, but not that much. They mostly play like a side, side part. You mostly, you mostly focus on Woody and Forky and all the new characters that you get introduced to, like, like uh, Keanu, um, Keanu Reeves' character, um, 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 Kaboom. Um, you got um, Christian, Christian, Hering, uh, Christian, Christina Hendricks' character, Gabby Gabby. Um, um, Keegan Michael Key and um, Jordan Pill playing Ducky and Bunny and Keanu Reeves played Duke Duke Kaboom and Ali uh, Ali Mackey played um, Giggle McDimples. So you mostly focus on those characters and the newer characters more so than the old characters. Even though I wish they were part more part of it, but the story that they were telling didn't make sense, and I understood what they were doing. And even though they didn't show them that much, the main characters, the main characters that much, the parts they did play did play uh, important roles to to the, um, to, to the storyline. So other than that, that's that's pretty much it. So let's move on to the positive. The positive part of the movie is first of all, let's start with the animation. That's cool. What I was saying it's it's, it's just fantastic. Each movie just gets better and better and better. The more technology improves, the more the more the CGI, the CGI improves as well too. From from the textures to the clothes, from the from the rain and the elements that they are exposed to. I mean, from the movements, everything is just beautiful. I mean, it's done so well and it's done so good. I just oh my gosh, it looks so good. From the textures to the hair to the facial expressions to to, to making the, how, how the toys come to life, how they interact with um the environment oh, is just done. Mwah! Beautifully. I really did enjoy the story um, as well and watching the, the journey of how these characters grow and change and evolve through, through time and the parts they play in, in both um, in, the, in the children's lives. And how, how, how realistic it is at times too because sometimes it even, even makes, you, makes you think about how you were when you were, which, which, you were with your toys. How sometimes you get a toy and you love it more than anything in the world. You play with it all the time. You sleep with it. You cannot part from it. And next thing you get, you get a new toy or something else, and then that toy you used to love kind of goes away to the to, to the base side a little bit and just sits there, and you don't play with it anymore. You, you kind of forget about it, and you see that happening in, in this um, in this um, this in this story right here. And you also see what happens to toys when um they don't work right off from the bat. Sometimes you might get a toy from the store, it may not be working that well, and so you're therefore, or it doesn't do exactly what you thought it was going to do. You saw it on the commercial. And how people how, to, how kids treat the toys after that. Like I, it's not doing what it's supposed to do in the commercial. That's just, that's the commercial kid. That's not real. That's this is a fantasy. This is the real thing. And seeing how that how how, how kids uh, how, how the toys how it affects the toys how they, how they act, act from there is, is also very interesting. There's a touching moment here. Some sad moments in here too. Some parts I maybe even cured myself. And, and and I like how that how the villain was in this in this, um in this movie over here too because there wasn't no, like 
all bad for the just for being bad. They, they actually had motivation behind, had reasons behind why they acted what they did, and it made sense. And you also actually kind of rooted for them at the same time too. So yeah, it, 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 even they had a, a nice arch. I really did enjoy that. Had some twists and turns, and some things you did see coming. You, 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 you knew how it was going to go, but then you, you saw it actually happen. I just, just wow, they actually are going there. Wow, wow. But overall, great movie. Whole lot of fun. Good for the Horatai family. Kids will enjoy it. Adults will enjoy it too. I highly recommend it. I think it will be a great. I'm giving it a solid A. I'm giving it a solid A. Because I really did enjoy it. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this, the movie Toy Story 4. Even though I didn't think they were the reason for them to make this movie. I'm glad they did. I'm glad they did. Hopefully this is it. Right? I mean, if they do make another one, I'm going to check it out too. If, it, if, it, if they can still keep the same quality up and make, make the story make sense, I'm, I'm still in. But I think this might be the last one. So overall, so like I said, leave comments down below and let me know what you thought about this movie if you have seen it. If you haven't seen it, go check it out for yourself. So like I always say, in my dreams in my life, uh, oh yeah, so first of all, give my, give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, boom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it. So like I always say, in my dreams in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.